Alrighty, here we go. Three. <laughs> is it me? Okay, go. Is it me? I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, God. What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to the Millennial Man channel. We're back at it with some more com comedian reactions? Comedy reactions. There comedy it is. reactions of today. <laughs> we'll get there. Just keep rolling. Today we have uh, the seven words. A lot of you guys uh, suggested it as... The seven words you can't say on television. The video is named Seven Words. Um, I'm not sure which one it actually is named. But anyways, by George Carlin. Uh, and we'll see how this goes. Oh, no. So the words, as I say, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cock, sucker, motherfucker, tits, fart, turd, and twat. Hell yeah. So, oh, wow. I'm guessing those are the seven words. Yeah, if you missed those, those are the seven words you're not supposed to be. Hey, honestly, my guy looks good right here. Yeah, yeah, he, he looks, looks young, look stud, full of life and vigor. Words, as I say, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits, fart, turd, and twat. Now, motherfucker came off the list immediately. The first day, in fact, I had a call from an English language purist. Some guy had to, he had to talk, you know, he got on the phone. He tells me I have a duplicate on my list. I have a duplication. He says, motherfucker is a duplication of the word fuck, technically, because fuck is the root form, motherfucker being derivative, therefore it constitutes duplication. And I said, hey, motherfucker, how did you get my phone number anyway? <laughs> I said, look, man, it may be derivative, but you still can't say it. You still can't say motherfucker on TV, can you? He said, no, but you can't say fucky, fucking, fuck Ola, fuck a Rooney, or fuck a Reno either. <laughs> well, I said, yeah, that would crowd up my list something awful. <laughs> so I just struck that motherfucker away. <laughs> struck it from the list. Motherfucker was gone. Now the list was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Does it sound like something's missing? Does it sound like an old friend is gone? <laughs> Shit, this fucking cocksucker tits. Remember the old rhythm? Shit, this fucking cocksucker motherfucker tits. Cocksucker motherfucker tits. Cocksucker motherfucker tits. Now, shit, this fucking cocksucker tits. It falls apart. It isn't going anywhere. <laughs> and by now, cocksucker is the dominant word on the list. Previously, with motherfucker on the list, cocksucker was somewhat balanced out. They were the only multisyllabic words on the list. But now, cocksucker stands alone. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe it doesn't belong either. After all, motherfucker turned out to be a ringer. Let's take a look at cocksucker. See, if this one belongs, we'll divide the word cock and sucker from each other, those words. Sucker isn't dirty. Sucker. That's it's suggestive as hell. <laughs> Dude, his voice change, that fluctuation was fire. It's so smooth with it. Like yeah. it's, just, it's just so gradual. Back with the fucking list, man. Yeah. List. Sucker isn't dirty, sucker. That's it's suggestive as hell. <laughs> but it isn't dirty. And cock, that's not dirty all the time. That's one of those words that's only partly filthy. Cock, if you're talking about the animal, it's perfectly all right. They used to read that to us from the Bible in third grade. And we would laugh, man. <laughs> cock is in the Bible. Remember the first time you heard about a cock fight? What? No. Even the word cocksucker itself has been twisted out of all of its original meaning. It's been distorted. For some reason now, cocksucker means bad man. It's a good woman. How did they do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good woman. Dude, I, look at the face. Eyes, oh, it's his eyes, the intensity. I love, <laughs> the I love it. Nope. Means bad man. It's a good woman. How did they do that? <laughs> How did they do that? Look at that 70s fit, though. Well, he chips is on the end of the list. Ship is fucking cocksucker motherfucker. Tits. And you know it doesn't belong on that list. I mean, it really doesn't belong in with that kind of heavyweight filth. 
Tits isn't dirty. Tits is cute name. Cute thing, cute idea. Great fun. Good name. <laughs> tits, hey. Tits sounds like a friend. It sounds like a nickname, doesn't it? Hey, Tits. Yep. Come here, man. <laughs> hey, Tits. I want you to meet Toots. Tits. This is Toots. Toots, Tits. Tits. Cute word. Nice word. I love a word that spells the same forwards and backwards like tit. Don't you think it's so cute when a word is spelled the same forwards and backwards? I always wished my name was Otto. Just so I could walk backwards and yell my name, you know? Otto! 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 Well, I had strange dreams. But the word tit is on the list because you can't say it on television. You can't say tit. Imagine that. Can't say tits. You can say boobs. Boob is spelled the same, forwards and backwards, too. <laughs> boobs is all right. You can't say tits, but you can say boobs. In fact, boobs is an answer now on Match Game. I had boobs, Gene. Boobs, $200. <laughs> tits, $200 fine, maybe. <laughs> you can't say tits. You can say teats. Teats is all right, providing you're on at 5 in the morning, and a cow is your guest. <laughs> But you can't say jugs and you can't say knockers, you know. That's right, Danny. <laughs> Pull on the cow's knockers. <laughs> right, grab a knocker in each hand, that a boy. Show us your knockers. <laughs> grab a knocker in each hand, that a boy. Bro, knocker is a word. I'm a big, big fan <laughs> of that. Reminds me of that um, Oscar. I don't know if you guys ever saw the movie Young Frankenstein. But one of my favorite scenes is he's rolling up to Frankenstein's mansion or whatever, and he's helping this chick get out of the um, car or the wagon or whatever. And he's looking at the door, and it's got big knockers. He goes, what big knockers? And the girl goes, oh, why, thank you. <laughs> Cow's knockers. <laughs> right, grab a knocker in each hand, that a boy. Now alternate knockers, good deal. That a boy. Good deal. Can't say that. Tits, tits sounds like a snack, you know? Well, I know what you're thinking, but tits sounds almost, <laughs> it sounds Nabisco to me. It sounds, sounds like, like Nabisco has, I know what has reserved thinking. that name. Because tits sounds like a thing at a party. Pass the tits, would you be? <laughs> Say, those things are responding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, ship is fucking toxic motherfucker tits. Fart, turd, and twat. Fart? Fart is like tit. It's one of those nut words that isn't that harmful. You know, it's just a cute kind of thing. Fart. Well, farts can be a little harmful. It <laughs> depends on who's cooking. But, fart. Fart? Fart is a cute. Hey, kids know farts are okay. Kids know farts are fun. Farts are shit without the mess. <laughs> yeah. Same funny sound, same vile smell, it. no fuss, no mud. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a fucking rapper on the <laughs> side. <laughs> 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 vile smell, no fuss, no mud. <laughs> Fart is an interesting word in this respect, talking about television. Fart is extremely interesting because, dig this, you can't say fart on television, we know that. You can't say fart, and you can't say fuck either on television. However, you can refer to fucking, you can talk about fucking, they do that all the time. Some of the times, the show you're watching, two people are probably fucking in the other room. <laughs> fucking is alright, fucking is part of the plot. A lot of plots are based on fucking. Will they fuck? Should they fuck? Have they fuck? Did they fuck? Will they fuck again? Will they get sick from fucking? Are they fucking too much? Will they fuck each other's friends? Will they have a baby from fucking? Will they be sorry they fucked? Will they be glad they fucked? All fuck stories. Every honeymoon joke is a fuck joke. Have you ever noticed it? Otherwise, the people wouldn't be on their honeymoon in the joke. They'd be knights or they'd be sailors or something. They're on their honeymoon. It's got to be a fuck joke. Every little, every news, I'm sorry, every quiz master has stood there with his newlywed couple and said, and I understand you folks are on your honeymoon. Lots of fucking going on here. Lots of fucking over here. So they talk about fucking all they want. They just don't call it that. They don't call it what it is. They call it other things. They call it making love, which is fine. They call it going to bed with someone, having an affair, sleeping together. But they don't call it fucking. 
on the other hand, fart. Not only is fart a word you can't use on television, but they never even refer to them. <laughs> That's how bad farts are compared to fucking. They don't even refer to farts. There are no farts on television. You've never seen a reference to a fart? I've never seen a fart reference. No, wouldn't you think that by now one guy would have gone, hmm. <laughs> by now that one guy on the Johnny Carson panel just once would have said, hey, Ed, move down, man. <laughs> Woo! Wow. That was a Clydesdale fart, Ed. <laughs> Give me the lighter, will you, Johnny? Wow. Jeez, Ed, next time you're sick, you ought to see the nurse, you know? God, it's not the smell so much. It's the burning of my eyes! Oh my God. Well, might, we might live to see that, you never know. Remember when you were a kid? Maybe you were a little boy child like me, out on short pants, maybe sitting in church. Sitting on a wooden bench in church in the middle of the summer with short pants. <laughs> you got a fart, you know? And it's up to you. You got to work out a little maneuver that's called the one cheek sneak. <laughs> all been there. there. All been there. there. All been there. Right in tune with the organ. <laughs> that's Time why they call them pews, you know. <laughs> pews. Did you ever notice that your own farts smell okay? <laughs> True. True. Hey, that's fairly decent. <laughs> I think I'll stay home today. <laughs> Do some reading in the closet. Now, I mentioned the three extra words, fart, turd, and twat. Turd is another word you can't say on television, turd. But, you know, when you get right down to it, who wants to say it? I don't even care if I ever hear that one again. Twat, twat is on the list for the same reason. It doesn't mean anything else. You know, it only has that one meaning. Twat's twat, and that's that. It's not like prick. Prick is one of those part-time dirty words. Prick is all right. You can say prick on television. You can say, I pricked my finger. Just don't say you fingered your prick. <laughs> Uh, how's it get stuff? He's, he's just so good. He's good. I, I don't know. It's just, he's just the way he can, dude. The way he can fucking like just make you laugh by his mannerisms, yeah. basically. Just the way he changes his his either his voice yeah. or like his it's like, uh, face. It's like his, his facial delivery. expression. Yeah, yeah, his delivery. It's like his delivery. It's like his cadence. Like yeah. the whole thing is like a very like well thought out, yeah. methodical like uh, like. I don't know, like event, like it's like yeah, a, you're going uh, to see yeah. like a whole event. It's not just like oh, I'm gonna watch a comedy. It's like I'm a performance. Yeah, a performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. It is definitely. It's cool uh, to see him young too. Yeah, cool yeah. to see him young, and also I don't know if you noticed, but I think the stage was, was, it was a circle. Yeah. So it, I feel like a lot of comedians nowadays they have like the like backstage. Yeah. It's, like, it's literally like their back is to no audience. He had to like work the literally work the, the crowd, crowd in a circle yeah. like the whole time, which I thought was that's really pretty, impressive. And that's difficult to do. I mean. It's easy to just stand one way the whole time during a performance and talk, because yeah. that's what you're like. Usually, yeah. that's how you do it. Whether it's comedy or like a play or like in a movie or whatever, like everyone's always facing one direction for the most part. So being able to work your joke or work your performance while continuously having everybody feel mm -hmm. as if they're also a part of it is, is yeah. pretty difficult. I feel like yeah. so that was really good. He did a killer job as yeah. always. As the, always, the boy. Yeah. yeah. His <laughs> holiness. Yeah. All right. Well, it, besides that. If there's anything else you want us to <laughs> react to, go ahead and comment it below. Um, if you like it, please like it. Comment, subscribe. Uh, hit that bell. Ding. And besides that, thanks for stopping by the Millennium Men channel. Thanks, guys. Deuces!